Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about AQH beam versus I beam. I beam and L beam is shaped like an I. The I beam consists of two horizontal planes, known as flanges connected by one vertical component, or the web. I-beam has tapered edges and it gets its name from the fact that it looks like a capital I when you see it from its cross-section. With an I-beam, the height of the cross-section is higher than the width of its flange. H-beam H-beams are shaped like an H-H-beam is a structural beam made of rolled steel. It is incredibly strong. It gets its name because it looks like a capital hover its cross section. H-beam vs I-beam H-beams are made of rolled steel and they get their name because the cross-section resembles a capital H compared to an I-beam. The beam consists of longer flanges and a thicker center web. The flanges on an I-beam are tapered. Difference between H-beam and I-beam H-beam the H-beam looks like one piece of metal but it has a bevel where three pieces of metal come together. I-beam, an I-beam is not made by welding or riveting sheets of metal together and is only one piece of metal throughout. Which is stronger H-beam or I-beam? H-beam an H-beam has a thicker center web, which means it is often stronger. I-beam, an I-beam often has a thinner center web, which means it is often not able to take as much force as an H-beam. What are I-beams used for? I-beams have a variety of important uses in the structural steel construction industry. They are often used as critical support trusses, or the main framework, in buildings. Steel I-beams ensure a structure's integrity with relentless strength and support. Is C-channel stronger than I-beam? C-section channel overcomes this by moving the web out to one edge of the flanges, changing the cross-section from an I to a C in the process. C-section thus has three flat surfaces for mounting to. It's still strong although this geometry does give up a little of the rigidity of the I-beam. What type of steel is I-beam? I-beams are commonly made of structural steel but can be formed out of aluminum. I-beams are most widely used in construction and can have an application for use in both beams as well as columns. Inframetals offers many different sizes, lengths, and specifications for I-beams. What is the main disadvantage of I-beam? A huge disadvantage to the I-beam is that it's very susceptible to heat. If it gets heated up it can bend and fail causing a huge problem. I-beams are usually insulated to protect them from the heat because of this fact. What is the main advantage of I-beam? I-beams are the choice shape for structural steel builds because of their high functionality. 
The shape of I-beams makes them excellent for unidirectional bending parallel to the web. The horizontal flanges resist the bending movement, while the web resists the shear stress. What is the main disadvantage of H-beam? Steel beams are strong and versatile, but they do have some disadvantages when compared to wood beams. Steel beams make skyscrapers possible. Steel beams have a high cost, are heavy, will rust over time and pollute the environment. What is the main advantage of H-beam? Due to their slightly different cross-section shape, thicker central web and wider flanges, H. Beams can bear larger loads than I-beams. While both are advantageous load-bearing structures, due to how long H-beams can span for, they are more reliable for larger scale projects. What is the longest steel beam? Spans in excess of 20 m can be achieved. For the purposes of this article the definition of long span is taken as anything in excess of 12 m. Generally long spans result in flexible, column-free internal spaces, reduce substructure costs, and reduce steel erection times. Is standard H beam? Beams or columns under the standard have nominal flange width same as depth up to nominal beam depth 300 mm beam depth larger than 300 mm have nominal flange width 300 to 400 mm beams and column section are manufactured with heavy, medium and light flange and web thickness. What is the standard size of a beam for building? How do I choose beam size? To calculate the necessary depth of a beam, divide the span, in inches, by 20. For example, a 25 span would be 25 times 12 20 equals 15. The width of this beam would be between one-third and one-half the depth. The dimensions of agirder would be the same, but the flange would be thicker. What is an H-beam used for? H-beam gets its name because over its cross-section it looks like a capital H and has a wider flange, S often referred to as WF or wide flange beams. H-beams are used in the bridge construction, buildings, cranes, truck trailers and in a wide variety of other applications. Structural steel beams Beam is a main structural steel shape used in many applications, including bridges, buildings, skids, structures, and general fabrication. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.